So I thought it might be a good time to put this video together after testing several projectors this past year or so. These are gonna be some of the best that I've tested or what I would consider the top five that either have the best screen quality, best sound, some even have both. Plus the first couple that I'll mention are what I would consider runner ups or honorable mentions. The Jaber Pro V5 Mini Projector is one that didn't make my top 5 but was pretty close. It's one of the more affordable projectors in this group. It's got dual band Wi-Fi, digital zoom, built-in speakers, is native 1080p resolution, also supports 4K. It could be a little bit brighter in my opinion but does have Bluetooth 5.1 so you can hook up an external speaker or headphones. Overall pretty good quality especially if this is going to be your first projector that you don't want to spend a lot of money on. The DB Power RD828, I reviewed what seems like a lifetime ago, so this one is a little bit older than the others, but it's still one of the better ones that I've tested. Has good screen quality, fairly affordable, it's got native 1080p resolution, also has 4 point or 4D keystone correction, so it's easy to adjust to get things set up just right, and it's going to have most of your basic connections that'll work on a screen up to 300 inches. The Bigasuo V511 Mini Projector is one that I've reviewed recently and I was kind of surprised on the build quality on this one. This brand name is actually popular for one of its cheapest projectors that has a built-in DVD player. But to me, this one is a lot better option as far as screen quality and in just about every other way compared to that one. This one has Bluetooth, native 1080p resolution, also supports up to 4K resolution. It's got Wi-Fi 6, 4P or 4D keystone correction. Also has a dust sealed optical engine, which is a nice feature. Should make this one last a little longer than some of the others out there. This one even has a slide cover for the lens, which I think is a nice touch. And this one has really nice screen quality and is probably bright enough to use with lights turned on if you had to. The Nexago PJ20 was a projector I reviewed quite a while ago, so it's going to be more affordable now than when it first came out, which could be one reason to get this one, but it was one of the first projectors I reviewed that had digital autofocus, which is just really nice to have. It's going to work on a screen up to 200 inches, plenty bright enough for indoor use, also has a Bluetooth 5.1, Dolby Audio, and you can also do wireless screen mirroring. This one also has 5 GHz Wi-Fi. The next ago, PJ40 is one of the most recent projectors I've tested. It's got native 1080p resolution, supports up to 4K though, and works on a screen up to 300 inches. It's got auto keystone correction, doesn't have quite the same controls as the PJ20 with its auto focus knob there on the back, but it does have pretty good auto keystone correction. Also has 20 watt speakers that are pretty loud, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and I feel like this is one of the brighter projectors that I've tested, so I'd probably give the advantage to this one over the PJ20 as far as screen quality and this one can actually adjust the fan noise which also affects the screen brightness. This Wi-Fi projector from O-Touch is probably one of the better ones I've tested, especially if you don't want to mess around with external speakers. It's definitely the loudest that I've tested, which could be the reason why this one's a little taller than the others. Also has dual band Wi-Fi. It's native 1080p resolution, but also supports up to 4K. Also has two-way Bluetooth, so you could use this as a Bluetooth speaker if you wanted. I also feel like the screen is plenty bright enough to use indoors with lights turned on for this one. Overall, just a nice nice projector that's pretty affordable and is super loud. Probably for me, the best projector out of all these, maybe not the loudest, but as far as picture quality, screen brightness, it's got most features that you would want in a projector. This one's also a little more expensive than some of the others. It's got Wi-Fi 6, 4K resolution is supported, although it's native 1080p resolution. This one also has a dustproof, fully sealed optical engine. If you want a projector for gaming, this one would definitely be the one to get out of the ones mentioned in this video. I think the built-in 15 watt speaker is plenty loud enough for most medium-sized rooms. Also has Bluetooth so you can connect an external speaker or headphones. This one also has auto focus and auto keystone correction, something that comes in handy and saves time when setting up. The Ace K1 by Jaber just has a nice balance of good screen quality plus has most of the features you would want in a more affordable projector. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.